who used both his brains and his hands to paint the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. Michelangelo. Very good, correct. That does it for Highland there, only missed one. Tonight is Maple Heights. Maple Heights High School is a four year comprehensive school offering everything from AP to career tech classes. The school is located southeast of downtown Cleveland and serves the cities of, or just the city of Maple Heights with almost 1,100 students. Many extracurricular activities are available, such as Student Council of Varsity Sports. This year, the brand new Maple Heights High School opened and features technology in every classroom. Kevin is the captain of Maple Heights. Kevin can speak multiple languages. Which ones, Kevin? Uh, Chinese, English, Spanish, Japanese, and French. I thought you were going to keep going there. <laughs> Tell us anything else about yourself. I'm in academic decathlon, uh, DECA, and I'd like to thank our advisor, Mr. Dan Kavalik. All right, very good. Over to Gabriel. Gabriel, you're the National Honor Society. Tell us more. Yes, I'm also a junior, and I'm in academic decathlon. I would also like to thank our alternates here today, Nicholas Cora, Shia McQueen, and Keith Wright. Okay, over to Jalen, senior class president. Jalen, tell us more. I'm also the student body president. I work at Panera and I plan on attending Miami University in the fall. Oh, okay. I would like to thank our alternates as well. Okay, great. Thanks not to step on you there. Gabriel, Kevin, and Jalen Maple Heights, these questions just for you. Please choose one word from each column. You can name what fairy who befriended Peter Pan? Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell is right. Which two of these four words would be paired as opposites? Resist and highlight. Now, capitulate and resist. These words title a biography of one American colonist who helped found Jamestown and whose life was allegedly saved by Pocahontas. Get an answer here. Why like saved Wayne. by Pocahontas? Do you have an answer? John Wayne. John Smith. These three battles all took place in June, but in different years. Arrange them chronologically, starting with the earliest. Waterloo. Little Bighorn and D-Day. That is right. These are the Russian and German words for what natural phenomenon involving electrical discharge and associated with thunderstorms? Okay. Have a guess here, Maple Heights. Need an answer. Need an answer now? Lightning is the right answer. These are the words of what physicist who must have led a very quiet life while he formulated his theory of relativity. Einstein. Einstein is right. Good job, Maple Heights. That is the end of the round. We'll be back with more Q&A right after this. I'm Steve Fisher of the Fidelity Group, a Westfield partner, bringing you the Sharing Knowledge Building Trust Question of the Week. True or false? Students enrolled full-time and under the age of 24 are considered insured under their parents' homeowner's policy. For the answer and a chance to win a Kindle, visit westfieldinsurance.com slash academic challenge. It's your first day in business. A new space. Real investors. And butterflies the size of dinner plates. You could be an inspiration, make a difference, sponsor a Little League team. Anything can happen. And because anything can happen, well, that's why there's Westfield Insurance. To find an independent Westfield Insurance agent in your area, visit westfieldinsurance.com. Do you know a high school student that's great in the community classroom and playing field? Then log on to Newsnet 5, go to sports, and click on Student Athlete to nominate them for the McDonald's Student Athlete of the Week. Tuesday at 6, we'll recognize an outstanding high school student. Brought to you by McDonald's. I'm loving it. Welcome back to Academic Challenge. Before we begin our next round, let's recap our scores so far tonight. In third place, 170 points, Maple Heights. In second, 250 Highland. Only five behind our current leader. Worcester, 255. Now it is time for a picture perfect round. Each correct answer here is worth 10 points, but a wrong or no answer will cost 10 points. All three teams are playing here, so hands on your buzzers, eyes on the monitor. Here we go. This fountain is dedicated to, in part to Davy Crockett, a defender of what San Antonio mission? Worcester. Alamo. That is right. These wildflowers bloom near Oak Hill, the estate of what fifth U.S. president? Highland. Virginia. What fifth U.S. president, Monroe, is the right answer? Artist William Henry Jackson painted this wagon train as it plotted on its way on what pioneer trail, Maple Heights? Oregon Trail. Oregon Trail is right. What is the slope of the line perpendicular to the line given here? Worcester. Negative 15, one-fifth. 
Negative one fifth is no. correct. Oh. Though this 1846 patent drawing looks like a large crank, there was soon a large market for what machine developed by Elias Howe and Isaac Singer Highland? Oh, shoot. Uh, the coffee. Uh, coffee grinder. Now, the, the sewing machine is the right answer. Flowing through this gorge in Afghanistan is what river that shares its name with the country's capital? Capital of Afghanistan? The Kabul River. This 18th century temple is dedicated to Shiva, one of the gods of what religion practiced by the majority of Worcester? Hinduism. Majority of people in India, Hinduism is right. In this Cleveland Magazine issue, we learned about people's paychecks. Along with paychecks comes income tax, which was enacted under what U.S. Constitutional Amendment, Highland? 16th. 16th Amendment is right. Well done there. That does it for our Picture Perfect Round. Be back for Academic Challenge right after this. It's moving day. New hopes, new dreams. And hey, be careful with that. You could get the entire family together for Thanksgiving. Have your daughter's wedding in the garden. Get rid of that groovy wallpaper in the bathroom. Anything can happen. And because anything can happen, well, that's why there's Westfield Insurance. To find an independent Westfield agent in your area, visit westfieldinsurance.com. Online learning from Tri-C. We meet you where you are. My future begins at home after the kids go to bed. My future begins at the firehouse in between shifts. My future begins online at Tri-C. Whether you work full-time, are a full-time student, or are transitioning between careers, online learning at Tri-C will fit your schedule. My future begins as I transition to my next career. Tri-C, where futures begin. Tonight from Highland, Andrew Dunn and Tanya Delata, from Maple Heights, Dan Kovalik, and from Worcester, Mark Keister. Time to now get back in away with hot picks. One at a time, I'll ask each team a question. A correct response is worth 20 points, no penalty for a wrong answer. Any team answering all eight questions correctly will receive those very important 25 bonus points. First up, team number one, Worcester. To pick your questions, we go over to Connor from Highland. Connor, one, two, three, or four? Uh, four, please. Envelope number four, four, Worcester. These questions, gentlemen, only for you. Let's start. The book High Adventure was written by Edmund Hillary, who, with Tenzing Norke, was the first to climb what high? Highest mountain? Everest. Everest is right. Don't search the skies for the Star of the West because that was a ship sent in 1861 to relieve what South Carolina fort bombarded at the start of the Civil War? Fort Sumter. Sumter. Sumter and Stereo, correct. The House of the Dead titles Dostoevsky's account of prison life in what cold, forbidding region of Russia? Siberia. Siberia is right to the bottom of your science question. If a salamander loses a limb, it can grow a new one. This ability to grow back a missing part is known by which of these? Regeneration. Regeneration. That's right. What 26th president published a book titled The Strenuous Life, led a very strenuous life himself as a rough rider and a big game hunter? Roosevelt. Theodore. Theodore Roosevelt is right. All of my road before me is the title of a diary written in the 1920s by what Anglo-Irish author who later wrote The Chronicles of Narnia? C.S. Lewis. C.S. Lewis is right. To the monitor your math question, solve for X. Sixty-four. Sixty-four is right. Twenty-five bonus points possible here, Worcester. Horatio Nelson is not only lionized in England, his statue is flanked by carved lines in what London Square, named for his great sea victory over Napoleon? Trafalgar. Trafalgar is right. Twenty-five bonus points! Very good, guys. Way to go. All right, team number two is Highland. We go over to Kevin from Maple Heights. Hey, Kevin, one, two, or three? Two. Envelope number two, four. Highland, guys, no need to buzz in. Here we go. Ronald Ross was quoting the Bible when he said, O death, where is thy sting? After discovering that malaria is carried by what insect? Mosquito. Mosquito is right. The Galapagos Islands are home to many kinds of wildlife, including a giant variety of what slow-moving reptiles who can live for over 100 years. Tortoise. Tortoise or turtle, correct. One of the finest examples of Gothic architecture is what Paris Cathedral, built on the 
Ile de la Cité and named in the title of a Victor Hugo novel. Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Correct. To the monitor your science question. In non-relativistic physics, momentum is directly proportional to which of these? Velocity. Velocity is right. Reading and writing were not highly prized skills in what ancient Greek city-state noted for its harsh military training? Sparta. Sparta's right. What same grain appears in the title of J.D. Salinger's novel about Holden Caulfield and in the nursery rhyme, Sing a Song of Sixpence? Wheat. No, catcher in the rye. Pocket full of rye is the right answer. So the monitor your math question. What is the greatest common divisor of these three integers? Seven. Correct. The highest mountain in New Zealand is named for what 18th century British sea captain who gave the name Sandwich Islands to Hawaii? Cook. Cook is right. Well done.